Go. It's the weekly breakdown. Woo! Number 23. Yay! And, uh, yeah, we're all here. This Yay! Time. There's too much stuff that happens, so let's fucking get going. <coughs> Headlines. Headline time. We need to be like fucking news anchors. Yeah. In today's yeah. episode. Well, we need to be like a crossways <laughs> like this, then. Yeah. Do you remember those intro videos where we're all just like turning around in chairs and like, <laughs> like slow all right. walking and stuff? Done. I can do it. Yeah, yeah. master editor of the key. Anyways. I'll do so, it. Uh, there's this band called Nuclear Hell Frost. They're front man, or someone associated with them, desecrated Dimebag Daryl's grave. And uh, he like, he pissed on the grave, he wrote fag on the grave, and did a couple other things uh, since he's apologized. Uh, but he did it just because he hates Pantera, pretty much. Um, <sighs> two thoughts. Dude, there's just some things you don't do. Yeah, it's just... Like, what more can you say? There's just some things you don't do. Regardless of whether it's time back, Daryl, or not, you don't do that to anyone's grave. Exactly. That's my, that's my thoughts. Like, no thoughts, just angry. Yeah. Like, just like, why, why? I, I don't like you. I'm going to piss on your grave. Like... Alright. That accomplishes okay. nothing. So, I don't know. This guy, he, he, he apologized and was like, it, it was only me there, it wasn't my band, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. But he pretty much ruined his band. His band. As long as he's in it. Yeah. Like, oh, even then. Even either after, they need to cancel all their tour dates or have, like, the fucking whole police fucking station in the town there. Every That's policeman the, everywhere. Because yeah. yeah. people are going to try to fucking murder him. I mean, they're just idiots. They just don't do that. Well, like, I looked it up on the one website. They had this picture of a guy, like, pissing on or something and, like, giving it the finger. And someone, like, a bunch of people left in the comments. I was like, what the hell? I got nothing to do, so I'll research this. Or whatever, that's how fucking bored I was. So I'm looking through the comments, and, like, basically everyone's saying, like, it's the wrong fucking band. So, like, an entirely different band had a picture of them, like, giving the finger to some wall mural and, like, acting like they were pissing on it or something, but, um, so the two bands are, I don't know, dead or whatever, but I yeah. thought it was extremely funny, not funny haha, but funny, like, the world's a terrible place because people are idiots, and in the, the statement that this guy wrote, he's like, yeah, I wrote fag on his grave, I but I'm not homophobe, it's like, you write that in a derogatory way, or you even say that word, first of all, you put it on the internet, yeah. like, you don't, put something like that on the internet. <laughs> First of all, you just don't do it. But then you don't post it on the fucking internet. The internet doesn't I'm saying fag, it's a bad thing, but I don't hate gay people. It's yeah. like, I don't know. The internet, guy, doesn't the, forget. the internet doesn't forget. I just yeah. watched that one Louis C.K. video that we are talking about using the word fag. Like, yeah. Before you knew what, you know, fag and you know, some associated word fag with homosexuality, <laughs> you called someone a faggot because they were being a faggot. You didn't know what the hell it meant. They were just being a faggot. Yeah, the fag actually derives from like a bundle of sticks. Yeah, because like, <laughs> people would burn homosexuals in the olden days, so it'd be a bundle of sticks. And that's why I like flaming and fag. That's why it's so derogatory yeah. and offensive to people. Yeah. They actually burn homosexual people alive. Yeah. So history. Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. You learn stuff. <clears throat> yeah. That's why it's like oh, you should it's bad. You look like a professor. You should be a professor. <clears throat> professor of getting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Anyways, I'm not into that up. shit. Moving on. So fuck that band and uh, fuck that guy. I mean, I could. So. You know, if his class is in it, uh, on it, <laughs> in it, class in the vagina about getting vagina, I could teach that. Oh, you're still talking about vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, anyway, moving Next on. his vaginas. Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain will release September 1st on PS4, Xbox One, <laughs> PC, and for some reason the 360 and PS3. And uh, Mad Max releases on the same day on the PS4, Xbox One, PC, and they made the smart decision of canceling the PS3 and 360 versions. Because you should just fucking move on. So, uh... Good? Bad? Are you gonna pick up either of these games? Will Mad Max move? Are they stupid for coming out the same day as Metal Gear Solid 5? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I well, you just that. Loot, use the left analog stick and you move him. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Concerned about the fact that Metal Gear Solid Five is still on the PS3 360. I mean, I don't, I don't see that as being a very technically. But look at games so far that have been released that have both current and last gen. Didn't 
Call of Duty yeah. sell really well on the 360? I mean, it's yeah. still, it's still yeah, selling, it's, but it's like, I don't, I see, plus, I don't see anything that game doing. Ah, and plus, like, people, <laughs> and plus, like, people are, like, moving away from putting stuff out on the 360 and PS3, so they're like, well, that market is, like, shrinking, but in the same way, we can still be, like, the people that are, like, mining the rest of, like, the scraping everything off that, 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 you know, shit. I guess. I just think that this game's too... It's too big. Yeah. I mean, yeah. literally, like, your 360 disc is probably going to be, like, fucking four disc or something that you oh, have to it's install. It's big. stupid. It's just... Move the fuck on from those consoles. But I think Mad Max is going to move. I feel... You know, Destiny came out September 9th of last year, and everybody got the fuck out of Destiny's way. There, there was, like, a two-week gap... Yeah, in front and behind and Destiny else. before anything else came out, and I feel this is September's Destiny for this year. Like, and actually, Metal Gear Solid is probably bigger than Destiny. No, to be yeah, honest with you, it's a more iconic franchise. This yeah, game is going to be monstrous. They just need to like delay Mad Max for two weeks, give them more development time, then you can put the fucking game out. Just tell them to wait. Yeah. Don't think so mad. Put out the next but, day. Put out the next day. So people, you, you have a day. That's fine. You got it. Cool. Yeah. Now our game's coming out. I'm pretty stoked on Metal Gear Solid 5, though. I think I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. You did play Ground Zero, but Ground Zero is, is uh, really cool. I like it. So. Have you played more of it? Yeah, I played, I played a good bit of it. It's, I mean, it's it's a stealth game, so it's challenging, as most stealth games are, but it's, it's fun. I like it. It's, it's, it's fun as hell. What did you say? Kind of. Okay. In some ways. I like it, though. The whole mind looks incredible. So, yeah, good stuff. Probably the first big holiday game of this fall that so, we know of. Yeah, it'll probably be the first one in no order of the world. Um, <laughs> Rock Band Four has been revealed. It's coming to the PS4 and Xbox One. It's coming out this year. Uh, they talked how Rock Band Four is going to be a platform, uh, like more of a platform. They're not going to put. They said that they're going to basically, they want Rock Band 4 to last this entire generation. They're not going to put out a Rock Band 5 or 6, you know, the year after that, whatever. Um, all the DLC will work. They're trying to work with Sony and Microsoft to get all the old peripherals to work. Uh, but technology doesn't let like that. Be in that? Um, the is going to be in that game. Um, and the game will look more <laughs> authentic. It's like one minute. Yeah. Is this cool? I, th I think it's it's smart that they're going more for platform because yeah. that's kind of what caused the downfall of all those games was that one there was both Guitar Hero and Rock Band coming out so you had two of these types of games coming out and then they were basically coming out every year so I think it's and smart everybody who wants it will pick it up and then also buy it it'll uh, you know it'll last a while like it's like you know sometimes especially with like some games that you know where there's going to be another one it's like like with I'd say Madden is probably the closest thing where it's like well, why would I get this year's Madden yeah. when I could probably wait maybe get next year's but then you'll probably have the same thing this is like oh you pick it up and then you don't have to worry about that and you get it's like yeah I'm fine I'll pick up Rock Band it's like 20 bucks why not so I think it's yeah, smart it's not going to be 20 dollars well I mean, anyway, if, if, I mean no that's what I mean like like down the road oh, yeah. like down the road it's like yeah yeah but I mean if then at the peripherals guitars and all that stuff don't work yeah, you're never gonna pay twenty dollars for it. You I have mean, to pay whatever. I would like to know how much, you know, the full, the full kit's gonna shebang yeah. is gonna be. Uh, I think the whole DLC thing is actually really smart because then you get the, the stuff that's on the disc. But then, I think the they said the library of songs is like over two thousand songs. Yeah, so and that's just on that's the disc. incredible. Uh, so, yeah, I think they know, aren't they bringing every rock band song? Like Everyone do. except for three and the Beatles because of licensing, they said. Okay. So Rock Band 1 and Rock Band 2, I believe, you'll be able to get uh, minus a couple songs on both. Okay, so, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. I mean, I thought it was kind of surprising. <laughs> you know, there were... I did, I, and I'm also surprised that it's coming out this year uh, just because I feel this fall is going to be packed, but... I don't know. In, in the comments of like on like IGN Game Forum, everybody is excited for this. Which I mean, we haven't had a game like this in a while, so I can see like yeah. This, I mean, this is kind of like another one of those party games. Like yeah. Mario Party is a big 
it has its following. Rock band has its following. Yeah, definitely. I think I yeah. you know, but the weight definitely helps. But the yeah, move exactly. to more of a platform model is definitely going to help a lot. Because look at Rocksmith. That is still going yeah, very strong. Like Keith said, people will be more willing to invest in it knowing that <laughs> this is it. a lot of value out of it. <laughs> yeah, because you know? they'll put out maybe, hey, here's a $5 song pack with 50 songs. Yeah, or, or they'll on. add new modes or features or something, yeah. which could be really cool. Um, no expansions. Fucker, I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say one more thing, but I forget. Um, no keyboard. Whatever. Yeah, no keyboard. They also said the vocals are going to get reworked, but they said that they're focusing <coughs> on the band, like guitar, bass, drums, vocals, you know, how it all started, so, okay. and I don't know, I do feel like Guitar Hero is going to come out this year, which, I don't know, I feel like Guitar Hero should oh. wait another year, maybe, <coughs> unless they have something really fucking good. I feel Guitar like, Hero has to do the same thing because if Guitar Hero does like Guitar Hero did, you know, five years ago, whatever the fuck it is, they're going to tank. Um, I don't know. It's interesting stuff. Uh, it's probably going to be one of the biggest games of the fall, though. I so probably. So I it'll probably sell <coughs> fucking a whole bunch of bucket of dicks. Yeah. Sam, are you stoked on Rock Band 4? No, I don't really. <laughs> oh, you can shred, man. You go online, you can download your favorite band. And that's another thing, really yeah. quick. Like, I don't know what they could do. We kind of talked about this last week, but I don't know what else they could do. I mean, besides think, upgra uh, upgrading the... Again, I, I'll reiterate two points I made, except for maybe upgrading the creative studio, or maybe making, like, a like a free battle type thing that would require, like, a massive overhaul of, like, the guitars and the drums and stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, here's the thing, like, like with the free battle, maybe not have it set to a song, but have like that's what I mean, like, like you just program like series and patterns of notes that or sound even good, or even then you pick, like literally you just get like if they somehow go and you have like lots of strings and lots of buttons and things like that, mm -hmm. and you literally just come up with something on the fly and it's just boom. Yeah, but then yeah. that would require like I mean maybe if they went with the Rocksmith route and had, like a guitar thing. Yeah, and that too would also require <laughs> them to have a fucking bitchin' online service because latency can really yeah. screw that up. Oh yeah. Um, another yeah. idea I had nice. was maybe import songs. Like hook it up to like your iTunes or your you know, your iPod or whatever. <laughs> and then maybe have like some kind of but software in it that can just kind of even if it's not hundred percent correct, yeah. just kind of yeah. somewhat render notes and things that like that. That could mm -hmm. be cool, but then there's a there would be a lot of licensing problems with that because, for example, like Led Zeppelin doesn't want any part in these fucking games. So yeah, mm -hmm. that would all right. Yeah, that would get into like iffy yeah. things. You know what I mean? That would be. Well, I mean, maybe not use it online just for like solo. Even that, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe own the music. Maybe if it's like a like a like not not like you download it and it's on the game. If it's like you plug it up and it's like a more of like a time by time use kind of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or something, yeah. Yeah, also I did see Mad Cats is making all the guitars and stuff. The guitars and the drums look exactly like a rock band guitar. You know? <laughs> so it's not like they're changing them either. Okay. Um, I don't know. No. It all comes down to price, but there's more <laughs> things that I would rather play this fall oh, yeah. than this right. game. Yeah. But I mean, it's cool nonetheless. Um, so Valve <laughs> Steam Machines are going to come out in November. Uh, Valve also officially unveiled right. Source Engine 2. Which is free. So if we wanted to make games with Swords Engine 2, we could make games if we were smart. Um, yeah, also, they I'm announced sure. Steam Link, which allows Steam content to stream from your PC to your Steam Steam machine or Steam machine to other devices. It'll be fifty dollars or a uh, hundred dollars for the controller. So, and also, let's move on to the other thing quick. We'll just bundle it all together. Nvidia announced the Shield Micro Console. <coughs> Uh, which streams 4K video, um, also streams at 1080p 60 frames per second, launches in May with a, a whole bunch of games, older games, uh, mostly like Portal, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, The Witcher 3, the pre-sequel, Borderlands, Crisis 3. It'll be $200, and the NVIDIA uh, fucking shield, whatever it's called, uh, 
it runs, you're streaming everything. <clears throat> but you can play things on, like, you can download Yeah, things. and it has this fucking badass chip in it that's only half as powerful as a PS4. Um, and also, it, it's connected to the NVIDIA grid, which they have a bunch of, like, fucking supercomputers hooked up for this shit. And that's what's streaming to your console, so that's how they get it to stream at 1080p60, at 4K. Basically maxed out settings. Mm, nice. So, so that. You, you know what the funny thing is about that? That's the third product that NVIDIA has put out with the name Shield on it. They put out a tablet, yeah. which was called The Shield, and yeah. then they eventually changed it to the NVIDIA Shield. I think they put out a, a phone, which was The Shield, but then it became The Shield Smartphone, and now they have The Shield the console, or yeah. the, or the uh, television top, television now, top. Uh, well, any of these do good. It's coming with, what's coming with well. all that shit on it? The, the shield? Is that coming with all that shit on it already? I mean, I mean yeah, it doesn't. it's not on it. Oh. It's it's like, yeah, again, you stream it. It's coming with 50 games, and supposedly another 50 games <coughs> come out, like six months. Well, I mean, do you have to pay for those 50 <coughs> games? Oh, yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. It's a service. You're paying for a service, basically. It's like... Yeah, yeah. And it they, is they, service. They it's have like a service PlayStation line. Plus, like, but they have it like service lock. Like you can get like a, a version for cheaper, where it streams at 720, 30 frames per second, or you can go for the full 1080. Uh, uh, I guess 60. it would depend on pricing whether or not that would be something to work. To work. I mean, it it just, <laughs> I mean, it could be interesting if you want a a console, but you don't want to pay for a console. Depending on like the game library they eventually have with it. But then here's the thing: they they have a bunch of old games, and and uh, the, the patch from Rooster Teeth this week they pointed this out. You know, it's two hundred dollars to get this thing, and they yeah. they were pushing really hard old three sixty games. It's kind of a little bit cheaper to buy an old three sixty. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or you just go, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna wait a little bit more, and you buy an Xbox One that's only one hundred fifty dollars more. And you get new games. Yeah. <laughs> not, That's not... my problem. I don't think the Steam machines are going to do well. I don't think the Shield Micro Consoles going well, to do well. Well, it depends on what you can do with the they, Steam machines. You know, these, but, especially but, these Android see. consoles like NVIDIA. They fucking tank. Amazon's tanked. The OUYA fucking is gone. It was dead on arrival. And, you know, everybody's trying to make these Android-based consoles that they never succeed with. They put nothing but old shit on there. Their controllers suck balls. They rush these things <coughs> out. They're just trying to get in on this shit, and there's nothing but old games on it. When you could just... I mean, either get it... Get the older games on the console came out for cheaper, or you just wait and get a fucking newer console. They... And they don't put exclusive content on there, so then what's the fucking point of buying it? If Valve had one Steam machine, but then, uh, you know, there was a couple variants of that Steam machine, kind of like actually buying a PC or something, and then they're like, halfway through. Everybody would go fucking crazy over that, but nobody's going, I just feel they're going to flop straight on their fucking face, and they're going to be flaccid as shit. It's that Valve thinks... And honestly, there kind of is. Yeah. And honestly, there kind of is, but no, nobody... They're, they're, they think there's a market for this, and there kind of is. But it's not as strong of a market as they think. Like, yeah, I sit here and I'll be like, yeah, there's some things that I wish I could do on a console, but I could do on a PC. And then if I sit here and I play on the PC, it's like, yeah, there's some things I wish I could do on a console. But then that's just the thing. I'd get a really nice PC. Yeah, and then <laughs> I, can get a de I can get a nice PC set up and actually use my console controllers. Well, yeah, but I mean, you yeah. can use three. I mean, there's only one Steam machine that's out already. I think it's the Alienware Alpha is the only one that's out. And I mean, it uses a 360. It's not a technic. <laughs> that is just an Alienware thing. It's not technically a Steam machine. Not technically a Steam. It was going to be a Steam machine. Oh yeah, because it runs. Valve, it runs on. It runs on the Windows. Valve device. delayed the Steam machines to come out this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, 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 so it's a Windows OS. I forgot, but yeah. still kind of like. Nobody really bought the Alienware no. Alpha. So, I mean, See, that's the I don't problem. think I was going to buy these. <clears throat> you pretty much Screen said my biggest problem with the Steam machines. They're in this awkward position. If I want a cheap but very nice gaming experience on a good console, I'm going to buy an Xbox One or a PS4. It's something that's nice. If I want the top dog bullshit, I'm going to go for a PC. I feel the Steam machines, and two, they're, they're all very expensive for the most part. Yeah. It, it's like, you might as well just go for something that's proven itself, or you just get a PC. 
PC. That uh, also, you also I don't see the market for it. Also, the price point makes sense because I mean, honestly, the way that the, these consoles are going, the, the PS4 and the Xbox One, the 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 only real benefits to having Steam Machine having the console is the fact that you, you have access to the Steam library and you have yeah. access to mods. That's probably like next next gen. Like probably when you get up there, these things are basically computers. <laughs> You could, they'll probably be eventually put on the support for you to make mods. And if Microsoft keeps going the way that they're going, they're talking about the possibility of streaming PC games to your Xbox. So, so that kind of cuts out. What the fuck is the point? Yeah, yeah. it's like... <laughs> no, the problem with streaming PC games to the Xbox, again, is latency. Yeah. 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 And, then, and that's the thing with this. It's, it's all digital, too. So... See... This is why I, because the whole big thing coming to this generation of consoles was going digital, digital software, I'm digital right. distribution. <clears throat> There's still something to be said for having a physical copy. Exactly. I mean, yes, I will agree. It's probably, and even though how much we probably might not like it, it is eventually going to be the future, all digital. I'm kind of, I know yeah. that, but, but I, it's not now. There's such yeah. a problem with latency issues and connection and just yeah. download speeds and all of that. It's such a problem because everyone's stuff varies. Until yeah. there's one like a standard boom, you know, able to handle vast amounts of data, you know, in a stable way, all at once. Physical copies yeah. are still gonna be the way to go. Yeah, and plus, I mean, just. just Internet infrastructure around the world is nowhere capable of hand, handling an all digital feature right now. Yeah. So. The other thing is because I mean we've talked about everything on that list except for it. I mean Source Two is a pretty big thing. I mean because it's the new. But then, of course, with Valve yeah. putting out SteamOS, a, a new. Well, no, with Valve putting out a new uh, gaming engine. Yeah. Uh, the the Half Life Three rumors have. Sparked up again everywhere. <laughs> I mean, put out Source Engine 2, that's awesome. And it's free. Uh, Epic also released Unreal Engine 4 for free. So. Yeah, I think there's. The, there, oh, you're yeah, right. They did. I, I thought there was one that they didn't yet. No, it was no Unity. The Unity 5. Yeah, Unity, Unity 5 is free. free. Uh, EA's probably sitting there <clears> saying, well, fuck. We should probably release whatever it is, Frostbite Four. Frostbite Four yeah, and uh, Ignition. Well, maybe not Ignition. I don't know who you. I mean, Ignition is just for sports games. But. Yeah. I don't know. Why well, I mean, people like to develop, might want to develop a sports game, so they might maybe. Yeah. Make another yeah. Quidditch game. Lots of cool. interesting stuff. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, so HTC <laughs> and Valve are partnering for a VR headset, and. Uh, Sony's Project Morpheus is going to arrive in the first half of 2016. We've had a discussion about VR and its future and what we think of it. I'm not getting into that. How much does VR need to cost for you? It's it's a it's a it's a combination of cost and quality. Quality. I think a smart thing for them to do that that would really sell me on VR. Which the only thing is that the way that VR is set up, which is the only way it has to be set up, is that there's no way to do it, is um, have it so that you can kind of either still have the thing on and maybe turn it on and off, or maybe go to even like AR a little bit after, but then that's like years down the road, but then like mess with it. But yeah, it depend honestly, I could be okay with paying, you know, a decent amount if there's good games... Exactly. Behind it. Too. Morpheus has some really, if Sony's like, put all these exclusive games, or games that are just made so significantly greater by Morpheus, Yeah. and Morpheus, first, it's not going to be any cheaper than like $200. Oh, yeah. It's uh, not even see it going that low. I think it's going to be even more than that. It's going to be more than that, but at 200 least, is like the minimum. Because think at about least it. 500. When you, when you look at more, when you look at the more, Project Morpheus, that thing is probably some of the most powerful computers you have out there because it because it can go you know 60 frames per second, 120 frames per second, and then it's doing that for each lens that you have for that size. So that thing is so that thing is doing 240 frames. And it's got per something second. like 60 speakers in it and everything. Like and it's got motion tracking. Should go 420 frames per second. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, It'll get high. It'll get high. I think. <laughs> If they don't have exclusive content, it's just going to be a hard sell because people aren't going to go buy a, a $400 PlayStation 4 and then 
want to immediately spend another $300 yeah. on a VR headset. Whether it's good or not, that's just a lot of money. I, I'm honestly, I, I'm almost getting sick of hearing about VR because there's so many VR headsets. There's even a bunch of smaller ones. Like, uh, honestly, a lot more than that got announced. Yeah, Last I know. Month. And, and it's just like, it's not even out yet. That, I know, that's the problem. <laughs> I feel like the only ones that I feel that you can really trust are Oculus and Morpheus. Because I feel like everybody else is rushing it. it. I just feel this is not something that should be rushed. I feel like, you know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, augmented reality should be the next, like, step towards VR. Like, for gaming. Yeah. But uh, the other thing is, with, with the Vive, or the Revive, or whatever the hell they're calling it, that Valve is putting out, like, I, that actually, they're, they're putting out uh, iris sensors. So, you know, so you actually have, like, a 15 by 15 space, which you're actually walking around and you know, so, I mean, you can actually get up and walk around and do things, which is all right. Yeah. And then also... Just like you can do in real life. Except with, like, with yeah. a fucking goofy-ass headset. Yeah. Until they find a way to make this, like, a fully immersive experience, I'm not jumping. A in. neurological implant, so you're going to have to wait a little while. <laughs> but the other thing is, Morpheus has a flip thing, which is pretty nice, that you can actually just flip it up. Yeah. And then the only other thing, which is another rumor thing involving Valve, is because I think they were, they were hinting at showing off a Half-Life demo. Again... Half-Life 3 rumors running Well, they showed off of, they, they had a Portal demo. Brand That's what I mean. Though. And then people, because the people think Portal 3 too. That's the other one, because they show off GLaDOS at the end of something, and they're like, Portal 3. And I'm like, are they going to break their, uh, their fear of the number 3? Like, <laughs> if Valve breaks the num their fear of the number 3, then Fallout 4 is definitely Fuck confirmed. You. Jesus Christ. Lord Gaben needs to fucking just do it, man. <laughs> oh, hell, Lord Gabe. Yeah. So, we are... We'll have to fucking see, man. Got right. the games. Let's play a little. No I'm going to explain this. And we're going to play a little bit of fair or foul. Uh, okay. Uh -oh. Battlefield Hardline's premium membership got announced. I'm going to explain all this and then we'll go into it. So this, this, uh, it's basically like the season pass for Battlefield Hardline. Yeah. Okay. Costs fifty dollars. Yeah. And you get four super features. Uh, <laughs> One of them is, is masks that confer unique gameplay benefits, which were unspecified what those yeah. were. A gun bench that tracks weapon kills and offers visual customization. Premium online tournaments and ladders. Legendary status for replayability, similar to Call of Duty's prestige system. Premium members will also be afforded two weeks early access to the game's expansion packs. Four story-based DLCs have been announced. Uh, each with new modes, vehicles, and maps, and they are criminal activity and robbery, which come out this summer, getaway, which comes out this fall, and betrayal, which comes out in early 2016. Finally, members will receive uh, 12 gold battle packs, premium exclusive in-game items, and personalization options such as gun camos and ammo skins, exclusive events such as double XP and missions, and priority position in servers. Um, Think about this. I, it, I'm trying to l not let my my Battlefield Hardline hate. It's. Like, I think it's. It depends on how much stock you put on all the all the, the, the all the like. If you care about prestiging, you care about what the golden yeah six if weapon you, packs and stuff like that. If you care about <laughs> stuff like that plus the maps, then maybe yeah. But if it depends how much you care about them. Yeah, if you're hardcore, if you're someone who is more in a more of like a competitive player, okay, you may this may be something you want to look into. <laughs> but the average player is not that you know highly dedicated. competitive, dedicated player. And they're charging how much for this? Fifty bucks. Fifty. It depends. A, depends. A year or just fifty just once. One time. One time. It also depends how much. Well, are they just, is it, I mean, how much DLC they put out. If it's just the four, it depends on how much all those are. Yeah. I'm going to say this is a little bit foul. Yeah, I uh, just want to say map, that, yeah. map packs or whatever, you, people are used to paying for that. But I'm sorry, prestige systems, you know, gun benches, masks. It's, it's a bunch of That bullshit. stuff should be in the game, man. That's yeah. bullshit. You know, if you want to do something exclusive like exclusive events, that's fine. In game maybe. items, that's fine. I'm not sure about the whole priority position in server queues because that gives that 
player that paid extra money and it's an unfair it's kind of a paid kind of yeah. pay to play almost. Or, or like not, this, not a full pay yeah. to play. Like this is to, just I don't know. This is like borderline yeah. bullshit for DLC uh, <laughs> it, because when you have you know stuff like that that gives you an unfair advantage. I mean, it's it's also one of the. I mean, I can I can see yeah. I mean, I I, I can see. The, I understand why you think of foul again. I'm still kind of on the fence about it, but I mean, it's definitely saying here. You know, most people you just get the four maps and you still probably pay fifty bucks. Whereas here's all this other extra stuff. You can argue, yes, some of the stuff would have been in the game, but then it, you know it's like boom, fifty bucks. You know, for the exclusive events, the double XP stuff, and 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 that stuff, and maybe the priority stuff. It's like here, you know. Actual you know, reasons to buy the season's pass or whatever they call it, like you know what I mean. I want to say a little bit foul. Yeah. Now make you the price point. Because yeah. while, while I agree, there should be some stuff that's in the game, like the masks, the gun benches, the gun camos, that sort of shit. That should be in the game. Like yeah. all that sort of cosmetic bullshit should be in the game already. Yeah. The early access, okay. Yeah, that's that's the, the expansions, okay. But make it like twenty bucks, thirty bucks at yeah. thirty bucks, yeah. thirty bucks yeah. at most. The whole I mean, that's a, that's a whole game. other game, man. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, look, hold on, hold on. The Borderlands season pass was twenty five. Twenty five. You got four significant expansions yeah. and a whole bunch of other shit, plus <clears> other characters. Yeah. Level cap increases. Yeah. And that was twenty five bucks. Yeah. You're basically providing the same sort of bullshit. Yeah. And you're yeah. demanding 50 bucks. Yeah. Alright. Um, Sam, you had some stuff you want to talk about? Pokemon? Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Pokemon. There's this new <coughs> thing about, I don't know, about a week or two ago. Um, Nintendo released an update, uh, like, a system, uh, like a game update, system update, and stuff to, like, nullify it, but basically, you got, like, QR codes, yeah. people know what QR codes yeah. are, the little block things, that, you know, you hold it up and whatever, uh, basically, there's this, like, uh, software people can use and create their own QR codes, oh, which yeah. can generate any, they can make their own Pokemon, so events, they can clone, like, like, you can have, like, a Pokemon in, like, box one, slot one, and clone an entire box of them, so you have, like, Mews everywhere, and it's just like, is that, is that, uh, the question would be, is that, you know? That's horseshit. Is, <laughs> is it like, it does, it, does it, does it, There's are you with it or against it, I guess? Yeah. That's you with 100% foul, motherfucker. That's, that's, yeah. yeah, that's fucking, like I said, that's horseshit. <laughs> I mean, because I get why people were driven to do it, because you, like, you can't when get you go to the trade system, <laughs> all people want is Mew and Arceus and all these event Pokemon but, you can't ever find. But, you know... There's a reason, you know, that's, that's cool, too. Yeah, because it, it's, it's it's it makes it, you know, yeah, it's a kid. But, like, you can't trade with those people because you don't have what they want. Also, half those Pokemon, because they're event Pokemon, you can't trade with them. I mean, so yeah, that does yeah. bring up the point that if Game Freak and Nintendo actually would put out some of these more rare, legendary Pokemon more often, then this probably would, wouldn't happen. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it was fixed with a simple yeah. so it's okay. I mean, if but it's I mean, if you don't update it, up, I just say update it, is you put emphasis on the up, not the date. Yeah. Whatever, whatever I put emphasis on was the wrong fucking thing. Rewind this, go back, or don't go back, because then, whatever. If you, if you don't update it, <laughs> then you can still do that crap. And to me, what really, you know, pisses me off about it, yeah, like, I've bought older games, like DS games, and I'll just go in and, like, what kind of Pokemon does this guy have? Is it, like, cool? Or does it, does it suck? You know? Um, <laughs> but I'll go in, and then they have, like, a box full of Pokemon. I'll be like, oh, that's cool. And I'll see if I can transport them. If any of them are cool. And just to see, you know, just to have them, like, just to have them. Because I got a Jirachi that way. And it's not like, I, I know it's not real. It's in a Master Ball. A Jirachi comes in an Event Ball. I'm like, yeah. There's no way it's not real, so I'm not like super high on it or whatever. But it's just kind of cool to have because I like Jirachi and I never did a Jirachi event or whatever. But to like go in and manufacture your own Pokemon and then 
You can customize like, some move sets and all that. Yeah, too, and, right? and you can give them away and you know whatever, and it just. It, 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 yeah, it takes yeah. away a lot of the specialness of it, of like certain events that, yeah, you might not, like, just not have. Like, Tyler collects the amiibo things. Yeah. Like, if they put out, like, you know, Guy Fieri amiibos, and those sold, <laughs> like, fucking quick. And then the, and you got one. And that's really cool. It's special to you. And then some guy out there, some jackass, just starts making them himself. And it's like, he gives them away. It's like, yeah, what the fuck? Those aren't real. You know, you're stupid. I have a real one. You know, it, it it's insulting, and it also brings up, like, the future of Pokemon. If people are going to find new ways, because before it was, like, Game Shark, and then Action Replay, and now it's QR codes. Like, it bring kind of brings up, like, Pokemon. If I was Game Freak, if I was Pokemon, if I was Nintendo, I'd be like, you know what? Screw them. They're not, you know, got, getting as many events. We're going to make them, like, fireproof you know, to that you can't trade them. Because I know if you get, like, shiny uh, Xerneas or Veltal, uh, certain Pokemon, you can't okay. trade them. Yeah. yeah, even if it's, like, to one... Well, if it's over the Internet, you can't trade, like, shiny Xerneas or anything like that. If it's going to, like... If they're going to have to put their foot down and just be like, well, we're going to make these events, you can't trade these events at all. Once you get it, and you can't trade them at all. You know, just to make it, you know, because people are just kind of ruining it. In a lot of ways. That's true. Yeah. And, and it pisses me off. Yeah. Because hardcore. Yeah, now you, now you don't know what's real and what's not anymore. And, like, you get, like, a shiny Pokemon. Like, ah, oh, all right. You know? And it's like, well, I don't know if this is real or not. Yeah. So, what's the point of going on in life if you don't know if a Pokemon's real or not? Yeah. Just end it right then and there. At least they fix it, though. So, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I agree. That's some bullshit. Keith, stop cheating. EA shut down Firaxis. Who made, who, they made SimCity. Or not Firaxis. Maxis. Sorry. Firaxis yeah. is going alive and strong. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. I got that backwards. But Maxis made SimCity and Sims 4. Um, and just Sims in general. They were the Sims studio. They're getting shut down. So, yeah, they shut down a lot of studios. I mean, the Sims might continue, but that studio is not going to continue making them. So. Yeah. yeah. That kind of blows because, you know, I mean, what's his name? Will Wright founded that studio. He created Sims. He created some very iconic video games. Yeah. But he's not there anymore, but now his company. He only left a couple of years ago, and now his company's fucking gone. But, I mean, SimCity launched like shit. <laughs> Sims 4 was not that great. SimCity was the. Was the I can fuck you. Was the leading term of evidence as to why Always Online is a terrible idea. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it literally didn't work for like two months. It did not. I remember it probably, I think it only still half works. Yeah. So it's like putting like uncensored yeah. sex in the games. And everyone would buy it. It's <laughs> true. It's really true. Probably and is true. Yeah. Like, they shut down a lot of studios. They yeah. shut down Pandemic. They yeah. shut down <laughs> Origin. Luke Luke they yeah, shut down LucasArts. I don't think they own LucasArts. Well, no. They LucasArts shut, they shut, shut down. Lucas shut down ahead of time, sorry. Disney shut LucasArts down. Yeah, right. but LucasArts was kind of fucking themselves because yeah. they weren't putting any games out. Yeah, so. yeah. But, yeah, but I mean, EA known for doing. As far as I know, <laughs> the only big developer under EA who left is Bioware. Well, there's Bioware and there's Dice. My Bioware, Dick. Dice, a big developer. Visceral, there's Sports Studios, Visceral. Man, the, the, the EA still got a couple big ones, but I mean that's the thing—they got the big ones. But it, it worries me because they've already closed down these studios that have but, been. But I mean, I don't, I don't see it happen. But today they would ever, 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 ever shut Bioware down. Their whole fucking. Yeah, the, oh, EA will be getting burned. They're not going to shut down Visceral. They're, 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 they're not going to shut down Dice. They're not going to shut down Bioware. What yeah. the hell? Is <laughs> if they shut yeah. down Bioware, that is the thing that <laughs> EA goes from being the worst company of the year to being the worst to being the worst company ever. Yeah, that's true. But they make hockey, so they're <laughs> good for life. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh, some release dates. Yeah. Tropico Five is coming to the PS4 April twenty. Sweet. That's cool. Isn't yeah. it like isn't it like a Civ game? It's not kind a Civ. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I thought Maybe. it's like Sims, but on an island. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like it's got it's like right. Sims and Civilization in a way. Yeah. Sims uh, Civilization. Sim Civilization. Ah, boom. <laughs> Wolfenstein. <laughs> Wolfenstein. Oh. The Old Blood comes out yeah. May 5th on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. That's cool. Shouldn't it be New Blood? 
No, it's old. It's, it's a pre it's coming out new. It's no, a prequel to the prequel. new order. Yeah. So it's old. <laughs> yeah. The new order. Is that um, a game that just came out? Bucks. Bucks. It's a game that came out. Where the fuck yeah. is the Doom? The, the 1890. No, 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 we'll find yeah. out this okay. summer, bro. The new That's cool. Is... I like that. Because <laughs> one thing that I thought kept on thinking when I played Wolfenstein was, yeah, what the fuck happened during World War II? Yeah, exactly. So, boom. Now, standalone DLC to help out with that. Dude, as long as you... I think you still play a BJ, and as long as yeah, you still fucking playing. rail somebody... That'd be great. You still got BJ. He's, yeah. still, still, he's still laying it down. Late Dude, like that. if you haven't played Wolfenstein The New Order... Fuck's wrong. You're blowing it, man. That's a great game. Uh, Final Fantasy X, X-2 comes yeah. in PS4 May 12th. Yay. It's so a crossbow. Cool, crossbow. Cross what is it called? Cross save Final Fantasy X and X2. Two. two separate um, games. Yeah, two so games. So it's like remastered. Ten, like X and it's sequel. Two. Oh, all right. Yeah, so it's like sequel. Right. Yeah. Don't worry, it's not 12. Yeah. Like, wouldn't that be like 10.5 or something? <laughs> or like 10, like 20? Uh, uh, I thought the name was stupid too, so. <laughs> I'm stoked on that though. Why do they call it Final Fantasy if they keep having them? That's not the Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. Uh, Magic of Two comes to PS4 and PC May 26th. Um, Elite Dangerous and Shovel Knight are coming to the Xbox One, along with a bunch of other ID and Xbox games. Some of them actually first one, really cool. First one, eh? Just a, the same <laughs> one. Yeah, I mean, Elite Dangerous. It's a good Elite space combat was, sim. was actually, and I didn't really know, I never played it, but it was actually a very, very important old, like, computer game back mm -hmm. in the day. But they basically like, 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 like space combat and sims or space. Yeah. Sims. Oh, you mean like not like the Google or like or like yeah. docking your ship is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. God damn. <laughs> so I mean that's cool. Whatever. Hey, there are times where it is hard to dock. Yeah. Uh, Wasteland Two is coming to PS4 and the Xbox One. All right. That's All cool. Right. This is apparently a cool RPG video game, <clears throat> so I might pick that up. RPG. Yeah. Trying 3 and the Artifacts of Power Ooh. comes out on PC. <laughs> they said other platforms, but didn't say which one. It's going to be in 3D this time. So it's not just a side-scroller. I love the shit out of Trying 2. This should be cool. Uh, Gigantic, which is a MOBA from Motiga Games, is coming to the Xbox One PC with cross-play. Also, Smite on Xbox One will have cross-save, not cross-play. So if you play on PC and you want to play on your Xbox with some dudes, you can just take your save. They seem to bring Smite like to the PS4. Yeah. yeah. Or I, don't know, I don't know if that. I don't know if that it's like an exclusive deal that Microsoft has. It probably is. Game. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it because I mean, but still, I, I just like I'm interested to see how a console mobile would work. Honestly, is it Smite? I have to play Smite. Smite. So it's like a religious game or something? No, or? no well, kind of. He plays gods. You play yeah. as all the gods from the different religions. <laughs> and you smite yeah. your foes. Yes. You can play, you, so, so it's, you can so play it's as, fictional. Yeah. yeah. It's fictional. You can play as Zeus, or you can play as Ares with a fucking... So isn't like outfit. Zeus, all he does is like have sex with what? Yeah. mortal women? Yeah, you can do that. Ares with a Sam Fisher outfit. So you can see the Sam Fisher or a solid snake. Actually, no, he flies around and he hops on the I have a solid so. snake. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, actually, it's hollow. Also, Microsoft listed that Goat Simulator is still coming to the <laughs> Xbox One, and also you know what? Yep. All right. Yep. If you guys haven't heard of the game Cuphead, you should really check that game out because, like, the art style of that game is like a 1920s cartoon. <laughs> oh, it's incredible! Like, oh, Cuphead! Yeah, 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 Cuphead! Yeah, and so yeah, I want to play that game. Uh, speaking of Shovel Knight and the Xbox One. So, on the PS4 version, Kratos is in it. On the Xbox version, Battletoads are in it. And uh, so Microsoft still teasing that Battletoads game. So, whatever. Uh, oh, I, I don't never know. actually beat the first Battletoads. I don't know, man. I Oh, I don't know which version I like better. Kratos or Battletoads? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's Kratos, but then at the same time, Battletoads. <laughs> but don't ever beat Battletoads. Hey, you know what? Oh, well. Wow. Battletoads is going to be coming back, man. E3. I think that's going to be the, the Microsoft's last thing. Yeah, like, like their bombshell. What, what, what was it? I don't even know what their last thing was in 2013. <laughs> I don't remember. But last year was Crackdown. Crackdown. And this year will be Battletoads. Oh, 2013 it was Titanfall. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so Titanfall and then it's going to be yeah, Crackdown. Battletoads. Battletoads. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gone Home. Shit. Yeah, Gone Home is no longer in development for consoles. That kind of sucks. No, because I can't. Play, cool. Yeah, I want to play the game. 
PlayStation 4 has officially sold over 20 million units. 20.2. That's cool. Uh, HBO Go is on PS4, but Comcast blocked it because of business decisions. So, so we're all, we all, none of us can use HBO Go. No. So if you have H, if you want HBO Go on PS4, then you're kind of out of luck right now. I feel uh, Comcast is your provider. Yeah. So. But I, but I have HBO. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. You just watch. But I'm already paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's bullshit. March is PlayStation Plus games, which are already out. Oddworld, New Tasty, and Valiant Hearts: The Great War. Uh, Counter Spy, Ollie Ollie 2, Papa and Yo, and Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishments. Wait, is it wait, is it Papa and Yo? <laughs> Papa and Yo. Are they two separate games or one game? Papa and one Yo. game. Papa That's and Yo. Alright. Cool, why not? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Music. Broken Hope's cult co founder and original drummer is dead at the age of forty two. Oh yeah, I read that. Where are you going from? I don't know. I did not you never know, like, that. people in bands might be drugs. Yeah, could yeah. be. He, he wasn't in the band, but he wrote, he was with them when they wrote their, cl like, old classics, like Swamped and Gore. It's good shit. Uh, Sepultura, Destruction, Arsis, Boris the Blade, Last Ten Seconds of Life, Starkill, and some other band where I literally could not comprehend their logo. They're all touring with each other. <laughs> so? Uh, I mean, Starkill, maybe they'll play longer this time. Yeah, I mean, if Sepultura, it was, maybe if it was Sepultura and Destruction movie. like twenty five years ago, <laughs> that would be excellent. I mean, Destruction's still good. But with, Sepultura, with, uh, with, Max, with, with, with Max, with Max still in it. Yeah, I'd be all about that. But yeah, Insomnium and Omnium Gathering are touring this August, so this is bullshit <laughs> because they're not real. The closest they're coming here is Pittsburgh, but it's on a Saturday, so I don't know. It's in August, so YOLO maybe. I, 2014, <clears throat> February, I got a ticket to see Dark Tranquility, Omnium Gatherum, and Ex Mortis, and it iced like a motherfucker. It was, it was when we got that, like, ice storm, yeah, yeah, and it, like, yeah. cut everybody's power because it was so bad. Alright, so I couldn't go then. Flash forward to fucking 2015, I have a ticket to see Dark Tranquility and Insomnium, in January, both of these shows were at the Trocadero, and it snows like a fucking bitch. It's gonna snow I have August. been fucked out of <laughs> snow <laughs> from four shows this year. It has, it has Fuck to be that snow. shit. It's gonna snow in August. It probably will. Hurricane. And it's bullshit Hurricane. that they're touring together and they're doing headlining stuff, but they don't fucking come around. Me off. Hurricane. Probably. <laughs> it's like 2012. It's a whole lot of horse shit. Cavaliers. Only the time it gets a ticket. <laughs> Like, no. get your ticket at the door, and then you'll be uh, safe until, like, after the show. Man, you're fine. Maybe. Maybe they come <laughs> around here, but they don't go to the trough. Maybe they go to the electric factory or the tower. Or, maybe you say, you know, maybe you might be safe. <sighs> maybe it's just Dark Tranquility. Maybe I'm not allowed to fucking see Dark Tranquility. Nah. That's bullshit, man. <laughs> I saw them open up for The Devil Wears Prada, which is hilarious. Um, anyways. Cavalier that? Dark Tranquility? There's some Swedish... No, no, when? when? Uh, when like 2010 that? with booms oh. and bangs. <laughs> I didn't eight. think that was probably that big. Yeah. Yeah, it was then Kill Switch and Gage, Dark Tranquility. Mm -hmm. So, that's when Devil Wears Prada, when they all looked like children. Yeah. And they all jumped around like children. Yeah. I, was, well, they still they do, but they should play the music worse yeah. live. The, the crowd was crazy that day, but. Anyways, Cavalier Jordan. Conspiracy, Death Angel, Corrosion of Conformity, Blind, and Ludi Kong are touring. Uh, That's cool. Death Angel would be cool. Yeah, Cavalier Death, Conspiracy. Death is always fun. Yeah, they are. Boris the Blade, Abiotic, and Alter Beast are touring. Mm. Septic Flesh, Moonspell, and Death Stars. Okay. Septic Flesh is another band I'll never be able to see. Bullshit. Look at all these negative names. I know, all like well, names. here we go. Now we're getting to have hope. <laughs> Chelsea Grin, The Word Alive, and Silar are touring. That's Ice cool. Nine Kills, Get Scared, which that would go into the dumb band names category. <laughs> Upon scary. This Dawning, this is another stupid awesome. one, Chasing Safety and Bright's Well are touring. Ice Nine Kills is a chant band, literally, like they started at the chant. At first I thought you said 
what was it? What was it? Upon this dawn, dawn. What was the name of that band? Upon this dawning. Upon this dawn. Yeah, that's what they should be. Dance, Gavin, Dance, Polyphia, Hail the Sun, and Stalos. Whatever the fuck that is. They're touring too. Lots of tours. Tours. They should, should be praised the song. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Guys, one good any of them? Yep, no. I mean. <laughs> no, you want to go see Chelsea Grown? Old times. Maybe so. like five years ago, I would go see Chelsea Grown. <laughs> They're awful now. Live. Um, moving on. Metallica is releasing No Life to Leather on cassette, April 18th. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. On cassette? Yeah. yeah. All right. Does anyone have Throw a cassette back. player in Why the fuck? Dude, I, I, got know, a, I got a cassette player in my car. Yeah, Alright, yeah. I'm good. Get I'm their life to leather for record store day. Uh, Six Feet Under's new album, Crypt of the Devil, comes out May 5th. Corporate Clotty's new album, Noita, Absolutely. comes out May 5th. Halloween's new album, My God Given Right, comes out June 2nd. Alright. Cataclysm's new album of Ghosts and Gods comes out July 31st, so yeah. that's all good shit. Uh, in Dark Sermons, done writing their new album, which I'm super stoked on. Nile, Anthrax are recording new albums, and so is Warbringer. Warbringer is alive. They're they, alive. They got a new lineup. So that's oh, shit. yeah, didn't like half, half the band leave? Yep. They're shit. alive, and they're planning on touring or something, too. So. Woo! There we go. Hopefully, cool. hopefully, the you know, new, entered, new blood in the band means good album. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, moving on to releases, not too much, too many this week. Hell Divers, yeah. PS4, PS3, and Vita. I still haven't played it yet. Yeah, I want to get it. Frank plays it. Uh, La Mulana X for the Vita. Ali yeah. Ali 2 for the, the PS4 Vita? The Vita. Yeah. The you Vita. Vita or Vita? Vita. 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 Oh, they said Vita like Vita me on. <laughs> Vita. <laughs> Why don't you come with Vita? Ori Shika Tainted Bloodlines <laughs> for the Vita. What is with all these J, like Japanese, like JRPGs? Dude, JRPGs. Especially on the Vita. I mean, if you're into that shit, Vita's a Vita would though. make you cream. I like uh, oof, Resident yeah. Evil Revelations 2, Episode 2, for all consoles ever. Uh, Scream Ride. Sega for the Xbox One 360. You can crash roller coasters. Uh, Shit's shif- fun. Yeah. Shiftlings on the PS4 PC. <clears throat> White Knight, for the PS4 and the PC. Not trouble, Don't care. Yeah. <laughs> But black. You couldn't see it. There's no game. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's Woo! Wow. Come on. Wow. Is it, wow. Is it night like Tyler like, may not be here? Like next the week. fighter guy Woo! with the sword? What? Is it night like the sword guy yeah. or like day night? Night like night outside. Oh. oh. Why is it white night? Because night it's is white. Night. Because it's fucking yeah. Well, let's move on before Tyler gets lynched. I apologize. Oh, I I'm anymore. just, it's all in good fun and jokes. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Tippy Stars. Tipping Stars. Tippy Stars. Tippy Stars. Tippy Stars. Tippy stars. <laughs> the Wii U 3 Yes, This is Nintendo's first cross by title ever. You can do more of that. Yeah. Lots of that. Uh, music of Forest, <laughs> Forest of Stars. Cross Wieners game. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's my last sense. remark. Of All right, before the stars, beware of the sword you cannot see. That shit's like Aglock. It's really good. Monster works with the Extential Codex. Ooh, that's good. Good bad. <laughs> Nagura Bunget with Tau. Tau. They're like some oh, yeah, atmospheric black metal band. They're, they're not too bad. Scorpions put out a new album, Return to Forever. So they weren't done with God damn it! <laughs> uh, yeah. Steven Wilson, Hand Cannot Resist, and From the Ashes to New, the Downfall. Aren't they from around here, From the Ashes to New? Yeah, I, fo- I followed them a long time ago on Facebook just because there was like, follow me, I'm a poor band. I was like, yeah, sure. So, I don't have as good of dumb band names as last week, but uh, these are sort oh. of dumb. Fuck, right. So, I thought this one was kind of dumb. Sabertooth Zombie. <laughs> this one is Richard. Fuck off. <laughs> can't wait, can't, can I get a fuck, fuck off? And the last one I, I hope is a gent band. Fossils. <laughs> Not as good as last week. It's much more. Oh, wait, I just remember. <laughs> I think you have better ones in the actual like, releases for the week. 
Oh, we, just, stupid band names. we just make it a uh, short thing. All the Spider-Man rumors floating around right now. Yeah. So basically, stop before the releases. I didn't think of it. Rumors about him being like gay or something. Yeah, probably. Basically, uh, they they think Drew Goddard, who wrote Cabin in the Woods, is going to direct and do the new Spider-Man. Spider-Man movie. in the Woods. And uh, supposedly Iron Man's going to be in it, and he's going to try to initiate uh, <coughs> Spider-Man into it. And supposedly he's going to have the Sinister Six. Okay. Though this is all this is all basically confirmed as a rumor because this was because it was supposed to be, this came out and they were like, oh, it's going to be the big announcement Marvel has for Thursday, and then. Uh, they found out that they hadn't finalized anything. And then the, the announcement ended up being the new trailer for, for Avengers. For, for each world's run. That's what the announcement yeah. was. So, you know, yeah, whatever. Sinister Six, that should be, could be cool. It could be. Much I mean, more hopefully, if they do it right. Yeah. Because they, they could fuck that up a lot. That's so. true. Yeah, that's true. Also, they're planning, uh, supposedly they're planning on putting out a Spider-Man movie every summer for a trilogy after 20. So, like, 2017, 2018, 2019 Spider-Man movie. I'm like... You're being a dead horse at that point. I was like, you space it out a little bit. Yes, but, they're good, but now. Yeah, so yeah, that's all I got on that. Yep. Where's fucking was... famous Danis going, really quick? Oh, uh, uh, probably to rape another girl. <laughs> Steal some crabs. Yeah. So little Sean McCoy got released. No, I mean, uh, he, got he got yeah. traded. He got traded, though. Yeah. Kiko Alonso. Some guy got pissed off. But some black guy got pissed off about that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw it. Wasn't he like, out. what the? Like, yeah, it was on at midnight. He was like, off. Oh, how do you trade <laughs> Sean McCoy? And I don't remember the rest of it. I just remember he was loud and he was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just noticed that three of us have beards, and there's one person here who does not have a beard. That is you, sir. I almost have a beard. I'm all scruffy. Fucking. Cowboys put kept Des Bryant. Yeah. Didn't keep Demarcus Murray. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I kind of saw it coming. The Eagles pick up the Marcus Murray. Yeah, I. That eh, maybe. Imagine the headlines if that happened. Wouldn't be the first time it happened. They turned it here anyway. Yeah. I mean, front page. Uh, Jay Cutler is still cool. <laughs> uh, I know the news of Marco Murray's Eagles. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Bye.